everyone. So the gift guides continue. I hope you enjoy them. I find them very helpful for myself as I'm organizing um, what I'm buying for the people in my life. Um, so let me know what you think. I'm breaking them down into the categories that I specifically am shopping for for the people in my life. So I'm basically just sharing with you some of my ideas. Hopefully none of my friends in real life are watching my videos this month. I've also started compiling my personal holiday wish list. Some of this is fantasy, like I wish it's never going to happen or, you know, not even specific to the holidays, just my running wish list. If St. Michael needs some ideas, it's just always available. Let me know if that's something you would like for me to share and I'm happy to do that. Um, and for those of you who are celebrating, happy Hanukkah. Eight nights of presents, we're in the middle of that. So this is my, I think this comes out every year. This is my Wild Fox um, Hanukkah sweatshirt that's kind of tongue in cheek. And I mean, here's what it is. Eight nights of presents are better than one. Are they? I don't know. Anyway, um, so here we go in no particular order. So these are all gifts under $50. Most of them are actually under 25 or right close to it. Some are even under 10. And this category is sort of covers a lot of things. These could be a lot of them are very good for just hostess gifts um, or stocking stuffers or secret Santa gifts for um, girlfriends or coworkers that traditionally would be more women oriented. Um, I am participating in a couple secret Santa groups. So um, some of these I may have purchased and they're just kind of in an all encompassing category. So this is a very long intro. Let's just get to it. So I have my list written out and what I already own, I will show you and what I um, don't have, but may have ordered, I will put a picture of here. So the first thing that caught my eye were these two beanies with the, the knit beanies with a faux fur palm. Actually, this would go on my wish list too. Actually, every single thing I'm listing, I personally want if I don't already have. So there you go. Um, they're very affordable. They're by the brand BP. You can either get one in gray or in pink. I have everything I own in gray, so I'm kind of leaning towards picking up the pink one for myself. Um, the price is just really good and it's really cute. Like I said, fun stocking, stu stocking stuffer or friend gift, I would say. Maybe not a hostess gift. Next on the list, I saw this also at Nordstrom. I was like, this is genius. It is a cocktail shaker, but what is really cool about it, other than the fact that it's gold and just a little bit different than your traditional cocktail shaker, is the recipes for quite a few traditional cocktails are listed on the side. They go around the whole um, shaker body. So I, again, I would love this. I don't have it. Um, because I like the idea of making cocktails, but I don't actually know what goes in them or how much you need to put in. So I think this is brilliant. So really fun gift. Another one, I've actually bought two of these. <laughs> I don't have them yet. I just placed the order over the weekend. They're from Erin Condren. They're doing a new, she is doing a new collaboration with Sugarfina. And it is a desk calendar set with the Sugarfina candies. I think they're the champagne flavored ones. $20. It's such a great deal. So I actually purchased a couple of them. Um, and I might end up getting another one for myself. I just, I love the design. I love the price point. It's, you really can't beat it. So putting that in my list, again, this would tick a lot of boxes. Hostess gift, stocking stuffer, or secret Santa gift. Next is, I'm going to just belabor this to death, but if you do not get one of these right now, you are going to be so sorry. This is, um, I just took this right off my couch. This is the Kennebunk Plush Throw. Oh, it comes in, I don't even know, so many colors. Um, the end have this knit. I mean, just my dogs, all three of them. This is thrown over the back of the couch. I've watched all three of my dogs pull it with their teeth off the back of the couch, lay it on, like drag it out on the seat cushion and lay down on it. I mean, not that this should be a dog blanket, but right now it's on sale for $29.99. Full price, it's $39.99. So either way, it's a great present just year round. I don't know that the full color range is available year round or even that the concept is available year round. So grab these, stock up on them, just have them in your gift closet. It's, oh, I can't say enough good things about them. Okay, I do need to buy some more myself. We need more than just the one. Next is something I definitely have. I have given as gifts, I have received as gifts, and these, and I've talked about them a ton here, these are the trap candles, specifically their holiday edition. And here's what I love about them and why I prefer these over pretty much every other candle. 
Um, they're way more affordable than say Nest or any of the other fancier brands. They have a lot more fragrance. They throw off a lot of fragrance. So these scent, one of these scents up about 300 square, well, I don't, I don't know. This room, that room is 16, my family room is like 16 by 20. I don't know how big this room is, but the two of them combined are fully scented with just one of these. My favorite scent is the holiday scent, which is this one. And the holiday scent is described as cinnamon stick, gingerbread, and bourbon vanilla. It is just, I like it more than the Nest holiday scent. Sorry, Nest, I love them too. And then this one I give out to a lot of people um, who celebrate Christmas. Um, they make two Christmas tree scents. This is my this one I prefer. It's the Golden Cypress scent. Um, it has citron zest, green cypress, and Siberian fir. And why I like to give these to my friends who celebrate Christmas is most people these days don't get a real tree. So they have the beautiful tree, but it doesn't come with the beautiful scent. So just burn one of these. I just feel like I'm walking through a forest in like Norway. So anyway... These make wonderful gifts for every category that I have mentioned earlier. Oh, and it's just, you don't even need to wrap it. You just stick a bow or something and you're like, here, here's your present. Okay, next on the list, I saw this and again, really great price point and great for travel, great for just walking around. And it is the blanket scarf from Anthropology. Comes in six colors and it's just, I mean, easily something you could wear around your neck. And then when you get on the plane, you can, you know, kind of unfold it and use it as a blanket. It's one of those, it's just really handy. And if you don't want to, you know, be layered up in cardigan and all that stuff, I think it's a really great idea. And again, a really good price point. Next is a gift I received. Um, these are the Herbivore, Herbivore Calm Soothing Salts. And the scent is, oh, I can't, I'm going to mess this up. Is it Ylang Ylang? Ylang? What? I don't know. Lang Lang? and vanilla. And Christopher Allen sent these to me along with a couple other goodies. Oh, as just a gift out of the blue. So thank you, Christopher. Well, he know, I've already thanked him, but um, a little of these goes a long way. They say about a handful in a hot bath. I put these in my bathtub. I sat in the tub for an hour. I just kept kind of re reestablishing the hot water supply every 20 minutes or so, but Oh, I, I mean, I blissed out. I've never spent an hour in a bathtub before. The description says, calming Himalayan pink salt infuses the water with vitamins and minerals for skin to absorb. Scented with... Ylang ylang, ylang ylang, ding dang, ylang ylang. Okay, and vanilla. <laughs> I'm just a little slap happy. For arom aromatherapeutic soaking experience. Directions, add a handful of soaking salts to warm bath directly before entering. You can absolutely combine these with your favorite bubble bath. I don't know if they come, if there's a thing, such a thing as unscented bubble baths, so it wouldn't compete with this, but if there is, I want to know about it because, oh, loving that. Okay, next on my list is this guy. Oh, it's heavy. This is one of these things I highly recommend ordering from Amazon. Okay, so this is a Himalayan salt lamp, and I found a really good one on Amazon, and here's why I suggest buying these on Amazon and just sending them directly. They weigh a ton. If you bought this, say at Home Goods, which is actually where I bought this one, and then had to pay to ship it, you would pay more in shipping than what you paid for this thing. Amazon, free shipping, definitely worth That's like 10 pounds, probably. So, um, and th the one I found on Amazon is better than mine because it has a dimming switch. What a fun hostess gift, right? Or just a random gift. It's just, I love it. Um, you can get them in different sizes. And the link that I sent, to, that I have in the description box, there's different sizes, different styles. They all have the dimmer switch. Love it. I don't know if it actually does anything. I'm not buying into this cleansing of the air thing, but it's really pretty and it's really soothing. And I usually have it on. You can't see it, but it's usually in the corner of my kitchen, just on all the time. Okay, this I found. I think this is so pretty. It's a soap petal floral bouquet. You can get all pink. The one I really like has the gradient of pink to deep red. And they are beautiful. They have a really pretty rose scent. They would be beautiful in a guest bathroom, just sort of on display in a little soap dish. You can pick off the individual petals and use them as soap. They're just, they're just so pretty. They're really inexpensive. They are $8 seven something, I rounded up to eight. So if you wanted to find a really pretty soap dish to go with this, really great hostess gift. Next is, and it would go great with a candle, is this Poetry Match Striker. I have big old lighters all over the house, but there's something really elegant and 
it just makes the whole candle lighting experience more sophisticated when you strike a match. Just that flare of the match and the scent. Um, but basic kitchen matches are really ugly. So I love this little glass jar. It has a little line of poetry on it. It says something like, it's better to light a candle. I don't, you know what? I don't know. I'll put it, I'll put the line right here. It's a really pretty saying. It's a glass bottle, so it's not going to compete with any kind of decor um, that you're giving to your friend that's in your friend's house, I should say. And on the side, it has a striker, the little flinty side that you just, just really pretty. Um, next is something that is on my personal wish list, but I thought it also makes a really good gift. Um, it's the Yeti Rambler Low Ball. So you all know the big giant Yetis. They're great for cold drinks. They're great for hot drinks. Well, the Low Ball is only a 10 ounce version. It makes for a wonderful coffee mug. It will keep your coffee hot for a really long time. If you want a handle, there's two options. There is an accessory you can purchase. I'll list it below. That's a snap-on mug handle for the 10 ounce size. So it's also great to keep beverages cold, like maybe poolside in the summer. You can be sipping on your favorite cocktail. But there's also a limited edition actual mug. Um, and so I will list link both of those below. There's one in pink. It's so cute. Anyway, um, next is the multi photo display. I think this is a wonderful hostess gift this time of year. We're all receiving all kinds of holiday cards and photos and stuff. How do you display all of them? I have one from the same company that's discontinued. It's a tree, um, stand, but this one I like kind of even better because it's not seasonal. It's just geometric. You could have that photo display out year round and you could swap out. Maybe you want to use it to display your birthday cards, Mother's Day cards, Father's Day cards, just photos. It holds up to 16, I believe. So the price point is good enough that you can get a couple of them if you're really popular and you get a lot of holiday cards. Now the next, the rest of my list, they're all very good hostess gifts. That's primarily what I picked them out for. But again, I would be happy to receive these for any particular reason at all. And the first thing is a brass, and it's mostly marble with brass inlay cutting board. You can use this as a serving platter. You can use it just you know, on display, um, I think it's the perfect size actually to leave right next to your coffee maker and you can put the fixings for coffee on it and lay some spoons on it. There's a lot of ways to display it, but this time of year, you cannot have enough serving pieces. Your people are always having random people stop by or impromptu parties or planned parties. And I just feel like I will never have enough serving pieces. So I love this one. I love a marble cutting board. I rarely see them with this brass inlay. I think the gold and the marble looks really pretty together. The next thing um, that I think would be a great hostess gift is this clear, there's also a pink option, like a clear pink, but this is just a clear glass monogram vase. Really good price point. You pick the monogram, obviously, of the person you're giving it to. And obviously what would be even nicer is if you go buy some flowers and fill it up with water and give it to them with a bouquet already in it, and then they keep the vase. It's a really, I think, a really nice hostess gift. Back to that serving platter concept, we're not gonna have enough of everything. This is from the brand Mud Pie. I, I think I need to do a Mud Pie haul because I love this company. I didn't know they had a, web, like how do you not know they have a website? I've seen Mud Pie in cute boutiques all over the country. I just thought it was one of those really specialty kind of brands that wasn't found online. I recently discovered that yes, you can order directly from Mud Pie. So it's like having the small boutique experience without having to get dressed and leave your house. This particular serving platter, I love because it just says happy every, it's white, so it's gonna go with everything. And then written in it says happy everything. So no matter what the occasion, it applies. And then the last thing I found, I think is so cute. If I didn't have Rowdy, I would definitely get this. It is a little candy bowl with a little um, silver spoon to scoop the, scoop the candy out. I don't put candy out anymore because Rowdy can hop up into pretty much every surface we have and get to it. So that is why I don't set out candy, but anyone who has better control over their dogs or just doesn't have an 80 pound wine runner in their house, I highly recommend this. It's a really great price point. It's on sale for $9. And obviously if you're bringing it to someone, fill it up with their favorite candy or your favorite candy and perfect gift. Again, I think it's a good um, gift for a coworker. It's a great stocking stuffer. It's a great secret Santa gift too. Um, those are my top 16 recommendations for this category of under 50, under 25, stocking stuffer, secret Santa, I'm repeating myself. But I just wanted to give you guys a couple of specific websites. So I've mentioned Mud Pie. You can spend a lot of time on that site just lusting over everything and the prices are really, really good year round. 
Also, Uncommon Goods, a lot of you recommended it to me. I got their catalog and kind of forgot about it. Talk about a time suck. You can sit on that website for forever. There are so many cool gifts. If there's someone who you're like, I cannot think of anything, they have everything, they're not gonna have everything at Uncommon Goods. So go check that website out. And then lastly, two recommendations, Nordstrom and Bloomingdale's. So here's the deal. Nordstrom doesn't have stores in every state. Bloomingdale's doesn't have stores in every state. If they don't have a store in your state and you order online, you don't pay sales tax. This is for the U.S. viewers. So like for me, there's no Bloomingdale's store in the state of Texas. So if I'm going to order a high-end item, makes sense for me to order it from Bloomingdale's because I won't pay sales tax on that. And if you're part of their um, free rewards program, it's the loyalist program, you don't pay shipping either. Nordstrom, obviously same deal. They always have free shipping and free returns, but if there's no Nordstrom in your state, like if you live in say Mississippi and you order from Nordstrom, no sales tax. Just wanted to pass that along as you're doing your holiday shopping. So that is everything um, that I have for right now. The list keeps growing though. So please, as always, share your recommendations in the comments below. I really appreciate that. Sounds like someone's coming in. So I'm going to say goodbye. Um, thank you all so much. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.